All right, folks, welcome back to Pushing the Potters. We're over episode 40 now. This is going to be episode number 41. Phenomenal numbers, to be quite honest, back when the uh, the series started at the end of end of just July, as it was. So we've only been going a couple of months, really, and to make it to 40, well, 41, 42, 43 episodes, that's going to be great. Um, where are we? Well, you saw us when we beat Porto two goals to nil. We got the second leg today. What have we done in the Premier League since? We played that one game against Swansea. I dismissed it as a mere formality. It took us until the 91st minute to put the game beyond Swansea, take a, a goal lead through Kieran Trippi. It was a distant strike that was deflected. It was a poor performance, to be honest, but it was a rotated side. I had named the squad with this game, with this Porto fixture in mind. So hopefully it pays off and... We won anyway, so we've won the Premier League. That's in the bag. That's twice in a row now. Retain the Premier League. So we, we've conquered that crown. You see there, we're, we're some distance away from, from Manchester United now. Um, we're not going to be caught by anyone, obviously. Otherwise, we wouldn't have won the league. So let's get this game started. I'll meet you pitch side for the game. We'll go through the teams there. And hopefully we can make our second successive Champions League final, which will be against Manchester United. They came back... Bayern won 1-0 at Old Trafford in the first leg. Second leg, uh, Man United won 2-1. So, uh, triumphed on away goals. They they won the game in the 91st minute. Bayern must hate the sight of Manchester United almost as much as I do. And there is your team then. So, it's Butland in goal. It's the same team, really, except little John is not in the team. I should have brought him back in. I've made a mistake. Shawcross starts. So, hopefully, that's going to be enough. You can see there, Porto's team... No real changes, I don't think. They've moved on Zonzi further forward. Probably a wise idea. I don't think he's really cut out. They've got Jordan Ayew as well. They've got more players than you realise. Let's hope Andre, 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 Andre doesn't come back to haunt us. So let's get this second leg underway. Trippier's in at right back because of an injury to Danilo. He picked it up on the morning of the uh, the game against Swansea, so he's unavailable. He should be back for the next league game, which is away at Leicester on Saturday. So, a quarter of an hour played. It's a throw-in for Porto. I knew they were going to be more trouble than they were worth. Here's, uh, we bring it away, though. Lamar finds Milik. He's got it all to do. He's got players right side, but will he go for goal? He does. It's not a bad effort, Zoe. He palms it away. There's a corner to Stoke. Nothing will come from it. And we are through, hopefully, 20 minutes without incident. And there's certainly more action in this first half of this game than there was in the first half of the first leg. As Porto looked to build, but they lose out. Rondonina goes left to Vlasic. What's he going to find? Milik, uh, back to goal. Could only hold it up and lays it off to Trippier. Goes back to Rondonina. Milik threaded it through to Vlasic. Right foot, not really the option. Uh, sends it wide, just into the side netting at most. Free kick though, Lamar. It's a penalty. Steven and Zonzi was uh, shoved Big John there. That's not what you not what you want to see. But the, the former Stoke man winks over at the bench. He's, he's done well. The boy done good. Uh, Berardi steps up. And, well, I don't know, it looked like, did that go pretty straight? We'll see it in the replay, I don't know, it seems to go in off the goalkeeper, so I, I thought he'd missed. Let's take a look at that again. Berardi steps up. Yeah, it sort of just beats the keeper for absolute power. And that really, really does put us in a strong position at this stage. 3-0 uh, lead with an away goal. Although if they come straight back into it within two minutes, Butlin comes out and claims it though. He's set now 30, 31 or 32 clean sheets, which is a club record, breaking his own record. So 31, well, 31 it is as a minimum. It's probably 32, it might be 33 if we manage to hold a clean sheet here. 33 clean sheets in a season is incredible for any goalkeeper. And given that I was talking about possibly replacing him a few years ago, that's that's nonsense. That's pillow talk at best. Vlasic now left side. And Milik, the game is done. We can book that final ticket. We're going to play Manchester United in the final. Oh, Jose, don't stop me now. So we've got Man United in the FA Cup semi-final. Or rather the final. We've got the Manchester United again in the Champions League final. Are they really going to put the, put the kibosh, put the bosh on us? After being our nemesis in this save. Oh, Jose, you old fool. So there's absolutely no stress on this as we go into half time. We don't want any players to pick up cards. Of course, I'm just going to tell them I'm happy because we're 4 0 up. Effectively, we need to concede five goals now to go out. 
it's not going to happen. Not with Jackie Butland in goal, England's number one. So just after the hour mark, throw in there, headed away. Andre Andre's on, so the big man's on. Any relation to Peter Andre? We've got a man over, Dalot hits the post off Butland. Butland it's uh, in good position there to make the save and turn it onto the to the beam. We'll get Sisto on, I think, for Vlasic, and we'll get Amiri on for Berardi. So we'll make changes on either side of the flanks just to freshen up a little bit. Oh, we, we just missed saving Berardi a, a card there, but he, he, is, he is off now. Just 15 or so to play. The game is run, 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 isn't it, really? Let's be honest. I think we're going to get Philip on. Bit of game time in the Champions League semi finals. Not going to hurt his progression, certainly. Five minutes to play, a throw in for Porto. Nicely worked. Dalot crosses. Big John is there. And it's a goal. Is it Sergio? Uh, Claudio Diaz? I can see Sergio Diaz. Claudio Diaz, uh, regen, gets a goal. Jack Butler won't have a clean sheet today. I thought there might have been a hint of offside there. You see him here. Uh, nah, Big John's uh, trotting back like he's uh, heading for half time. Uh, Claudio Diaz is a decent technique on the finish. Butler's got no chance from that range. Disappointing, but no, uh, nowhere, no, not a problem at all. As that is game, that should be game, and it is game. We're into the final. Off we go to final day. Fantastic stuff. That's the episode we're coming back for. There's no Premier League action to wrap up. We've got two episodes of this season season series left now. We are going to be playing the Champions League final against unknown. I know it to be Man United. You know it to be Man United, and the FA Cup semi final. I keep saying semi-final. I'm doing it as a disservice. Final against Manchester United as well. So we'll wrap up the league behind closed doors. I will show you exactly what happened. And then we'll play those those Manchester United double headers in separate videos. So the seasons, the Caesars, the Caesars, as it is, the series will go to 43 episodes, which I think is a decent number. We'll probably do a, a 44th just to wrap up and look at where the players have how we've progressed and who might have done well in the future had we continued had we had time to continue before the forthcoming fm 18 which i'm sure you've all been reading about and watching videos about all over the uh, the old youtubes lots of uh, good content out there uh, for the forthcoming year and lots of analysis as well about the features that are coming out so i'm not going to jump on that bandwagon because i think everybody's doing a good enough job there so yeah, we'll talk about that anyway. We'll have a video where we probably discuss where we're going next. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this today. Uh, do follow me at Knock It Wide on Twitter. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.